Hello everyone! This is Ninja Girl, Sakura One here with a brand new Winx video for you guys! I know it's been way too long since I've made a Winx related video. There's a lot I've wanted to talk about, but since Rainbow is so dang strict with copyright apparently, I decided not to. I made community posts, but yeah, just to not get a bunch of claims on my videos. But uh, today is a special occasion because Rainbow finally decided to unveil Season 8 Enchantix, the moment we have been waiting for since it was announced that Enchantix would be back in Season 8 is finally here. And I just, I had to talk about it because it's my favorite transformation. But, if you don't want to see what it looks like, feel free to click off the video now. I understand if you don't, believe me. Some people probably do want to wait till the season airs in their country. Which, by the way, we still don't know when America is getting it, if at all. I really wish we did. But so far, nothing has been stated on that yet. But without further ado, let's take a look at Enchantix Season 8. There it is. There's our girls. And in my opinion, they look gorgeous. This version is different from the Enchantix we are used to. That is very clear and obvious. But I don't mind the changes so much. I think they still look absolutely gorgeous. Just as gorgeous as the original Enchantix. I mean, is Season 3 Enchantix still better? Kinda. But this version is still absolutely stunning. And it suits the new art style, which people just can't stop complaining about. I've said it before, I'll say it again. I think the new art style is actually quite pretty. It's, again, very different. But it's very pretty, and I like it. And the old seasons will always be there. Original Enchantix will always be there. But, uh, yeah. I love it. People are already complaining about this and hating on the changes. I don't mind them. I think it's gorgeous. If I had to pick one that I don't like, it would probably be Stella's, honestly. In the original Season 3 Enchantix, Stella was my second favorite. But one thing that hasn't changed is Bloom. Her Enchantix is still my favorite out of all of them. It's been that way since Season 3 when I first saw it. It's gorgeous. It's a little more pink than I'm used to, like at the top, It's because it's usually her Enchantix, her original one anyway, which usually mostly blue, with shades of turquoise and stuff in there, but I like this. It's beautiful. I just absolutely love it. Uh, I took some images from the transformation sequence, so let's take a look at those. There's Bloom. I had to. I just, I love her Enchantix so much. It's gorgeous. Love it. And I kind of like this final pose for the transformation for her a tiny bit more than her final pose in the original transformation sequence. She just looks so pretty though. Both, both versions. I just, mmm, so gorgeous. I really, really like it. And I do like some of the added detail to it as well. Speaking of which, next image. What's a detail that I noticed they changed? Besides the obvious ones, like in her dress and stuff. Right here, they actually added more hearts to her barefoot sandals. Because in her original, the only hearts she had on her sandals were the three that go across the top of her foot. And then the rest of the sandal just wrapped around on her ankle. But now they've added more hearts to it. And since the heart is kind of Bloom's symbol, and like the dolls, and even her attacks, like her shields are usually shield-shaped. Or, um, her shields are usually heart-shaped. Sorry. <laughs> so, yeah, them adding hearts to it, I'm fine with it. It's pretty, it's a nice little touch. I like it. I really, really like it. Oh, uh, by the way, going back to the previous image real quick, if you're wondering about the fairy dust... If you look at Bloom's uh, neck area there, there's a heart-shaped pendant where her bow would usually be in her original. That's her fairy dust. The fairy dust is still there. 
I saw a couple of people wondering. But uh, yeah. Next image. Musa. The beautiful fairy of music. Probably my third or fourth favorite in the original Enchantix. It's always a toss up between her and Flora's for me. But yeah, she's stunning. Very, very stunning. And yes, they have covered up her midriff. I've seen people complaining about that already. I kind of understand why. I kind of understand wanting them to stick closer to the original design. But I also understand maybe why they may have done this. Because, like it or not, Winx is targeted towards a younger audience. Especially lately with the past few seasons. I haven't seen any of season 8 yet since it's not airing in the United States as of yet. So, I'm not sure how good or bad that season 8 is yet. But, I really hope it's good. I can't wait. Anyway, though, they have been aiming towards a younger audience is the point. So that might be why they made that decision. Or another little guess I had is maybe there was some censorship law that is in Italy that I don't know about, maybe. Maybe it's something new and it kind of forced them to make this change, maybe. I don't know. That's just a guess. Nothing confirmed. But either way... Musa here looks gorgeous. I really, really like it. She is stunning, and I actually like the red on her wings. I think in her original, her wings were just all yellow, right? Which worked. It looked pretty there, too, but I do like the added red to her wings. Very pretty. Same with Blooms, I like the little, the more touches of pink to hers. Very pretty. So gorgeous. Uh, let's see. Next image. Flora, fairy of nature. Again, a toss-up between her and Musa, but she's usually my third or fourth favorite. And just like her original, she looks absolutely gorgeous. I really, I really like the new designs. I do. They look so, so pretty. I I don't know why everyone's upset. I mean, I, I kind of get it. They were hoping to, they would stick to the original designs. But after Cyrenix was changed, I think we should have expected that Enchantix might be a little different. Which, by the way, Cyrenix looks so much better in Season 8, in my opinion. I think they kind of saved that form a little with the redesign. Because it was terrible and ugly in Season 5. And I hated it. <laughs> so, I don't mind them. You know, changing that form at all. And I really don't mind the changes to this form. It's not bad. It's different, but it's not in a bad way. And it makes me sad that so many are upset. I get why, but it's still, this is still Enchantix, and it's gorgeous. It's just as gorgeous as it's always been. So, yeah, I'm just, I'm happy with it. I think they look great. Uh, and here's a little. Comparison between Season 8 and the original, yeah, right there. Yeah, both gorgeous, both amazing. These new designs are different, but it still has the spirit of the original Season 3 Enchantix. I really love it. And I really hope they make dolls of these, <laughs> just as somebody who likes to collect wing stuff. Although, I haven't been able to, because... There's no Winx merchandise in America anymore. Yay. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, they look... Both versions are just... Perfect. I would love to see Harmonix in this style, but th that's not happening. What I am curious about, though, is what is going to make them have to use Enchantix again? That's something we don't know about yet. Um... For the transformation sequence they uploaded to YouTube, they do just have Bloom shouting Magic Wings Enchantix. So, I'm guessing my little theory about them just always being able to revert back to those forms and just choosing not to, I kind of always thought that. I'm guessing that might be the case. They've always been able to go back to these forms, they just never did because, well, their newer forms were stronger. Like, after they gained the power of Blumix, 
they never had the a reason or a need to go back to Cyrenics. Mythics was a different case because that power was only available in the Legendarium world, for example. Um, same thing with Cyrenics in Season 5. Once they got Cyrenics, they never went back to Harmonics, which is a shame because that is the second most gorgeous form they've had, in my opinion. <sighs> but, oh well. It was gorgeous while it lasted, and I will always love that form, but yeah. I'm very curious. What's going to make them have to use this form again? I am extremely curious. But I'm going to have to wait a long time to see. Because <laughs> they have not said a word about America getting Season 8 yet at all. That makes me a little nervous. And I'm also a bit confused if Nickelodeon still has at least the broadcasting rights. I know they can't do it. They can't dub it anymore. They haven't been able to do that since Season 6. But I know they aired season 7, so I don't know what the deal is. I don't know if they still at least have the broadcasting rights or what's going on there. It's very confusing. But, um, yeah, hopefully we find that information out soon. But for those of you in Europe, they did announce, along with revealing Enchantix, that, um, I think the 24th or 25th of this month, so very soon, Season 8 will be resuming in Italy, so that's fantastic, and I hope you guys enjoy it, because us in the States, we're going to have to wait a while, but uh, yeah, that is pretty much the news. We finally got to see Enchantix, it's gorgeous, it's different, but it's gorgeous, and I am a fan, art style included, design changes included, I think it's beautiful and I hope that season 8 as a whole is going to be good I really I've seen little bits but I have not sat down and watched full episodes yet I'm waiting until the official English release you know when they show it on TV in the States because that's pretty much the best way to support the show I think because in the States it's really it hasn't done well <laughs> and I wanted to because Winx is a fantastic show. It's got flaws, and it's not like Sailor Moon quality storytelling, for example, but it's still a great show, and kind of better than a lot of things that kids are shown nowadays, in my opinion. And yeah, I just can't wait to see season 8, but I'm gonna wait for the official release on TV. I'm very excited, but yeah. That's our look at Enchantix. I hope you enjoyed the video. And are as excited for Season 8 as me. Those of you in Europe, in Italy, enjoy the second half of Season 8. Because you're going to see all of what happens before we are. <laughs> enjoy it. But yeah, until the next piece of Winx related news, I'll see you guys next time. Also, Rainbow, please don't block my video just for using images. <laughs>